In this video, we're going to find the center of mass of the following point masses lying on the x-axis. Before we go through it, let me just explain what uh, center of mass means in this case. Pretend you have like a little seesaw. Uh, this is actually called the fulcrum. So if you have a little seesaw and you have a bunch of little point masses on the seesaw and it looks like this, then we say the system's at equilibrium. It's like the balancing point. But if instead you had something like this, so where it's tilted to the side, uh, then it's not equilibrium. So what is the center of mass? The center of mass is the point on the x-axis in this case at which we can relocate the fulcrum so that we have equilibrium. So for example, in this picture, maybe if I move the fulcrum over here, maybe it would be okay in this case. Maybe these masses over here are heavier or something. Okay, let's go ahead and work out this problem. It's actually really, really easy. So solution. So the center of mass is defined as the moment about the origin divided by the total mass of the system. So total mass. So the moment about the origin is the tendency of the system to uh, rotate about the origin. So in this case, all you do is you multiply these. So it's m1 times negative 2. So 3 times negative 2 plus 10 times 4. So 10 times 4. And then plus 2 times 5. So 2 times 5. And on the bottom, it's just the total mass of the system. So you add up all the little masses here. So it'll be 3 plus 10 plus 2. So 3 plus 10 plus 2. So this is equal to, let's see, we have negative 6 plus 40 plus 10. It's being divided by, let's see, 3 plus 10 is 13 plus 2 is 15. So we end up with 15. So this is equal to, let's see, 50 minus 6 is 44. This is the hard part, divided by 15. So I hope that made sense.